this here is my recap of the S&P 500 capped up well above my level broke out of the wedge that I had drawn on here I'm not sure why these lines didn't carry over this one sometimes they do sometimes they don't anyways uh, gapped up well above the wedge above my price level I was watching I gave it actually a, a very nice entry signal here I gapped up failed to follow through put in a green indecision candle at what I already had on here as a very important level and confirmed a bullish move so I grabbed a handful of these 241 weekly calls right here ended up riding them up as far as 80 82 cents left a little bit on the table so could have done a little bit better um, this was my initial profit target and went ahead and closed half of them there that was a pre-planned exit and other than that there was really no reason to sell any any sooner than really up here um, so that's you know shame on me uh, learn from it move forward that's what these analysis videos are for and my screenshots to remind me that of what to look for and potential areas that uh, I could have capitalized on better now going forward here SPY is officially broken out of this range um, what I kind of halfway expect tomorrow with the way price action has been going recently uh, is more continuation uh, it may pull back into a couple of levels here and levels that I would be looking for is going to be the VWAP no matter where it is is going to be a support so I mean there's no really nowhere really to put that on here except for where price action is already at so put a support entry there at VWAP that's assuming that price opens sideways and just kind of trends around stop loss would be just below this 241 and a half which is his previous swing next level down uh, is going to be a support here at 241.20 and then ultimately the next level would be down around this area with a stop loss just below it. Now I'm not referring to any moving averages over here on the daily chart because it is very extended and any kind of true momentum move from where we're at now uh, will not even have to come back and test these. It's very likely that these moving averages will come up through this line and catch price on the next time it does uh, either run into resistance or just consolidates a little bit more. Uh, but for right now, this is a very, very strong momentum play. And the last time the S&P did something similar was here in February, where it started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seventh day consolidation, eight, nine days up again. So uh, we're now in the middle of one, two, three, four, five, six days. Uh, so we could expect another move up. Tomorrow is Friday, so it may have that come into play and get some sort of a range trade uh, as of right now do have a noticeable potential top right here that did establish uh, although it's not as strong as it could be and how why do I say that is because it initially set up right here put in a lower high but then put in a higher low came up pierced this level here and pierced this level here again into the close so uh, this 242 level is going to be important going forward within a little bit of a, a range right here and we'll see if it breaks up through it there were a fair amount of uh, dark pool prints here around 241.80s 241.90s today I'm not sure of the exact count uh, but it was a fairly noticeable amount and that could at least imply another level of resistance somebody's maybe shorting right there maybe somebody's taking profits who really knows um, but this is going to be my trade plan going forward not going to have any kind of a breakout type of play here on the open so these are levels I'm watching simply for pullbacks to one of these three points if it does happen to gap up on the open uh, then I will be playing this as a support at 242 so that's going to be my plan tomorrow for the S&P 500 it is Friday and it is for a long weekend so there may be people taking a lot of risk off and I will keep that in mind as well good luck